Hi, welcome to my studio. My name is Kemi Yemi Essay, and I'm an artist practicing and living here in Austin, Texas. I work primarily with oils and acrylic paints, but every now and then I like to experiment with other type of media. So one of the papers that I will be using in some of my more recent work is called Papyrus. I chose Papyrus because the ancient writing that I'm incorporating into my artwork also plays very well to be painted on something that was used by ancient people. So the first symbol that I'm going to paint is reflection. And it's a symbol from the Nisibidi uh, writing. It is a circle with a line down the center. This is a, a drink, a symbol for freedom. I like to definitely tell a story with my paintings and freedom for me, especially as an artist of color with a disability, plays a lot into how I see myself. The last symbol comes from my specific tribe, Yoruba culture in Nigeria. And this is the symbol for long life, usually painted on cloth in a tie-dye fashion called adire. But since I don't work in textiles, I make it my own by incorporating it in my paintings. And the symbol for long life in Yoruba culture is like a square spiral. And then to the side of that is a bar, almost to show that this is the timeline of your life. And it is a prayer that you are forever extended in your lineage, in your life. And I know that beyond me, my art will live on. So why not incorporate something like this into my art? Now that you've seen what my studio looks like, I wanted you to get a glimpse of what my art looks like while it's on display. There was a time where I didn't want to be identified as an African artist. I didn't want him to be put into that label, thinking that it was very limiting. But in fact, identifying as an African artist gives me such a wide compass. It gives me an, uh, an incredible horizon of influences that I can draw from. In the midst of all the strife and the turmoil that we're experiencing in 2020, I wanted to highlight the fact that black people and people of color can thrive. And it's not about how we struggle through a challenge. Sometimes it's just how we display elegance. So I wanted to focus on painting figures that are dressed exquisitely, that are dripping in gems and, and, and furs, uh, displaying a richness that isn't always um, identified as part of black culture or African culture. But especially this one, Topaz. She is named Topaz because the gemstone Topaz is selectively and exclusively found only in, on the content, continent of Africa. Um, so me being African myself, I wanted to highlight the richness of uh, the things that are found in Africa and also how sometimes the things found in Africa can be taken for granted or uh, taken away from us. So I wanted to reclaim the, the, the nature of opulence and say with this growing um, series of paintings that I'm working on, I want to capture that idea of being opulently black. If you're interested in purchasing my art or you want to know where I'm, my art is showing next, you can visit my website at www.kemisart.com. You can also find me on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, my page is Kemi's Art. Thank you for visiting my studio and my exhibition here at the Nina Baronado Jewelry Store. I want to extend a big thank you to Big Medium and the East Austin Studio Tours as well for inviting me as an artist this year.